Presenters ready? Okay. Good morning, dear Toastmasters. Welcome to District 105 PR event. I am Toastmaster Remy Suleiman, your Sergeant at Arms, and I am here to read the district mission. We build new clubs and support all clubs in achieving excellence. I now invite our district PRM, Toastmaster Suchita, for her opening address. Over to you, Toastmaster Suchita. Thank you, Toastmaster Ramiz. Good morning to you, dear members who are keen to learn and grow. A very warm welcome to the PR branding session. Now, you all must have been thinking, COTs are over, makeup COTs are done, what more can we learn from those ancient guidelines, right? But don't you agree that even with the already invented wheel, there are still places to go and avenues to explore? Your presence here today is a testimony to that. Added to that, I was also getting a lot of queries regarding PR role in general, but regarding website in particular. So in these times, the stringent times that we are facing nowadays, it's not only individuals. We are struggling as individuals, as Toastmasters, at the same time, the clubs even. So with these kind of challenges, how do we make the best of these particular times? All these needs needed to be addressed. And thinking about that, we decided to plan this session, which is need-centric. So here's to a great session ahead. Sit back with your aromatic and steaming cups of teas and coffees, and let's get started. To guide us through, let me welcome our sweet, creative, and very, very social media savvy MC, Toastmaster Shazia. Toastmaster Shazia, the virtual screen is all yours. Take it away. Thank you, Toastmaster Sushita, for your lovely introduction. One of the most successful businessmen of UK, Richard Branson, once said, publicity is absolutely critical. A good PR story is infinitely more effective than a front page ad. Good morning to all conscientious members. In spite of being a lazy weekend, the only reason we all are present here today is realizing the significance of effective PR. I'm sure you all are aiming at letting your good creative sense your hard work speak. So without any further delay, let's begin. Today's PR session mainly consists of three segments. First, PR branding guidelines. Second, navigating the District 105 website. Third, best practices. Each segment will be of 30 minutes, inclusive of 10 minutes for question and answers. Kindly post your questions and queries in the chat box. And our presenters will answer them all towards the end of their respective segments. In case we are short of time, we will take the questions towards the end of the session. Creativity need not feel confined. Even within the so-called confines of guidelines, we can mix and match and explore. Let's understand these guidelines and how to enhance that creativity within those. And to do the needful, we have a very enthusiastic Toastmaster, an IT professional and an entrepreneur, a passionate runner and a fitness enthusiast. He's a Toastmaster for two years. Currently, he's also an eminent part of district PR team as a webmaster and also serving as the president of Acers and Pacers Club. He was also a part of DTAC 2020 educational team as a key personnel. Today, to take us through the brand guidelines, ladies and gentlemen, please put your hands together for Toastmaster Vinish Matthew. Toastmaster Vinish Matthew, the virtual screen is all yours. 
Thank you, Toastmaster Shasya, for your blissful information introduction. Good morning, District 105. Mm -hmm. I hope you are all ready to listen from me regarding the branding guidelines. What is branding? Can anybody say some uh, in a, a text a chat box? What is branding? Yes, branding is an identity. It's all about a creating an identity. When a child is born, he doesn't have any identity. When we give him a chance by name, he will get an identity. We will all call him in that by name. Similarly, any product and a, a logo, colors, taglines, typography, the phones they are used, all comes under branding, which helps the identity carry forward. See, people ask me, I mean, uh, people are asking about Vinish. Who is Vinish? People don't know in that community. They will say that, oh, this guy is a Toastmaster. I saw him running on the road. Still, they are not identified. You see that Lembu fellow? See, we call Lembu. That is also called an identity. Similarly, we, in Hindi, we say Lembu, Chotu, Patlu. All these things are comes under an identity to recognize the people or differentiate people from one to another. There are four main things in branding. A brand meaning, brand response, brand relationship with the people. Brand meaning means that there should be a takeaway message from that brand, like in Toastmasters, where leaders are made. If you close your eyes also, you heard that sentence, where leaders are made, you will recognize us, Toastmasters. Again, brand creates a relationship with the people. If a tomato ketchup uh, supplied in a blue color, people will not recognize. They all want it. They will think that twice, whether I need to buy this or this is a separate product. So the, some of the brands and logos are mapped in our brain. So why we need branding? It creates an impact, the bottom line of your brain and the purchases or any kind of activities what you do. The design of Nike brand. Anybody have idea how much it was cost? That's a famous logo of Nike brand, which costs $35. The design of Nike cost only $35. But the BP, British Petroleum logo, the design cost was 2 million US. See the difference between the logo designing part itself. But the Nike logo is well accepted the and most of the people knows about Nike. So it's not about the cost of the money which creates for the designing, but it's the impact which you create on the human. Now let me share my first slide as branding. So you will all come to know what I made for as a, two years ago. You can see a presentation, a presentation on screen. This is the flyer which I created for one of uh, the club event. When I look into that, it has everything. The colors, somewhere green, uh, yellow, but there are many things missing in this flag, which is the Toastmaster logo, etc. So let me stop sharing this.
I hope you all can see my screen uh, with the Toastmaster brand manual. The Toastmaster International has a brand manual which clearly defines what we need to do when you create a flyer or when you create a presentation or any, any material which is coming from Toastmasters. The, fir the first and foremost is the brand platform. Basically, it, it creates the tagline where the leaders are made, which, which helps the people to convey our mission. That is a takeaway message for all the people. The core values, integrity, respect, service, and excellence. That is also we can see in this uh, branding. And it promises a branding, so that empowering individuals through personal and professional development. Next, the voice and tone. I never heard in Toastmasters uh, people are arguing or people are making big noises, but everybody is respecting each other and it is internationally friendly. So there is no uh, harm against any, any person or any kind of activities against any people. So the voice and tone are also com coming under branding. The next thing is the logo, which is the most uh, important part in this uh, branding. Our logo should be in this color, grayscale, white, or full color, which can be used in any formats. And there should be a clear space given in uh, around the uh, logo. The presentation is not moving. Not visible. It's frozen on the first slide, Vinish. You can okay. see now? Uh, can you stop? Should, yeah, okay. You are able to see my screen logo? Yes, yes. yes. I'm sorry, there is a small technical glitch. Okay, about the Toastmaster logo. So we need to have this logo in a full color, white or gray scale, and there should be a clear uh, space given between, uh, around the Toastmaster logo. This is one of the main important thing we need to take care of. Again, we have one more logo, Toastmasters International. There is one more logo, Toastmasters International with the 1924. And what you need, you should not do with the, our logo. In the right side, you can see uh, the, the, the non formats which is used for the logo, where they add the distinct number or difference in color, and background is different and don't stretch it. In the left side, you can see uh, the very good uh, logo which is created in a nice way. These are the norms which we need to follow. And especially the colors. The color is also indicates the leadership, dedication, and empowerment. These are the four basic colors which we used. And some of the gradient colors, which is generated from original colors, can be also used. Then transparencies, if any picture or any other uh, things are there in your presentation or in a, in, in a flyer, which you can use these kind of transparencies. Again, for pathways, when we give any certificates or in this use, any pathways used in any of the presentation, we have to design this pathways logo also according to this. The pathways logos are available in Toastmasters website and you should use only these pathways logos. Then again, phones. Many of us will not have the, this kind of logos installed in our computer. So the Godam is then Toastmasters International primary uh, font. This can be downloaded from uh, the link which is given. There is an alternative is Montessori. Myriad Pro is also there, and Source Sun Pro, which is used in Canva. Then images. So we need to take care of the images very clearly. Those mainly 
landscapes, animals, children, food, and any food appliances, medicines, and architecture. Try to avoid these kind of pictures from your flyers. Also, don't use any kind of cartoons, illustrations, or any anything which is copied from the internet. So use Toastmasters uh, pictures or Toastmasters uh, pictures from your club or district or any other activity. Again, this some of the pictures can be downloaded from Toastmasters International website. These are the, some of the pictures from there. Then again, resource. You have a brand portal, which you go to the Toastmasters website. In the brand portal, you will get all these guidelines. Then finally, when you go for any Facebook or any online or any kind of uh, advertisement, who are all responsible for it? If you create the club area, division and district. If you create any kind of flyer or any posters, any anything which is related to Toastmasters, the responsible person is club president and the district director. Same way, individual and and for the video guidelines, any post, anything which is required uh, posting in any of our social media platform like Facebook, Instagram, and WhatsApp, we must get a video release for, video release consent form from our Postmasters, then only we will be able to publish it in any of the social media. So the brand guidelines, you need to follow that. You should not use any kind of uh, pictures which is unappropriate or any food or any other items. On any of their t-shirts, these are the parameters which is set. Okay. Now we have come to an end of brand guidelines, which is uh, as a Toastmasters International is mentioned. Now, let me show you some of the in your Toastmasters website and District 105, we have created a VPPR uh, kit which gives you a ready made platform for you to design uh, your flyers, etc. So when you see ready to use PowerPoint formats, these are the ready to use power. These are the ready to use uh, uh, PowerPoint format, which is available in VPPR kit. Also, we will share just for two minutes. These are the ready-made invitees, which is for the Toastmasters, any club flyer or uh, any posters which is required for. There are so many formats that are available. You need to just enter your club name or uh, change the details. All the logos, uh, pictures, everything is mentioned over here. So I will share the link to District 105 website uh, where these resources are available. So you can download the entire kit. Now let me come back to share my old slide, which I created. See, you can see the next slide which is improved a little bit and the other slide which has been improving and over a period of time i developed a learning how we can make the flyers most beautiful or when it comes these are the latest ones so i have learned something from toastmasters branding guidelines how to use all these things. And outside the Toastmasters also, I learned how to use uh, the branding colors, et cetera, which helped me for as a designer.
Okay, this is all about um, presentation about a branding. And then I will give you one of the easiest method where you can get a flyer, which is with the colors, everything. I'll share my screen again. You can also see all, this is a very nice template where you have all the colors, primary colors are available and font is also available. Okay, especially when you go for a PowerPoint presentation, go to design and create a Toastmaster design. Colors, here you can choose the colors. See, I have selected Toastmaster's colors. If you want to add any colors, go to custom colors and just change or more colors and add this RGB number. So especially if you want to use true maroon. So just type this number. So you got that color, those master colors. So which is very easy. So you save that. And finally, what you need to do is save this theme. Once you save this theme, you will have it in a custom format. And when you create any insert, any object or any text box, see the text is already in Montessera. And if you use any kind of uh, images or any characteristics, it's already there in the color. So here itself, you can change the color of those masters, so which is very easy for you. So this is a very basic thing for the PowerPoint. And this slide, this PowerPoint flyer, I will share with you all so that you know all these colors, the hexagonal codes and the RGB codes as well. Okay, after creating the beautiful flyer, you, you will get an awards from District 105 website. So which are the awards which requires a branding compliance? So let us go quickly to the SIG 105 website, go to awards, or when you go to land into public relations page, go down. This is one of the awards, the designer par excellence. This is also uh, get an award of for with the branding compliance. Then again, picture perfect award, phenomenal poster awards, Fearless podcast, vivacious video, etc. This is similarly in area and division. So these are the awards which you can get it with the uh, with the branding complaints followers. When you follow all the brands, okay. Similarly, you go to resources. PR resources. This is the kit for as a VPPR kit. So you will get all the items which is required for your club in with this kit. Once you click it, it will download the full kit which I showed you above. This is having a VPPR kit is having uh, agenda format, branding guidelines, certificates, which is used for um, the contest, club invites, corporate communications, design elements, phones, newsletters. Even if you don't have a phone installed in your computer, you can uh, get it from this VPPR kit. Then there is a format for newsletter also. PowerPoint, all the formats, which if you are creating any, any presentations. Ready to use brochures, social media elements, TMI letterhead, Toastmasters logos, Zoom elements, and club marketing guide and pathways, speech contest rule book. Everything is included in this VPPR kit. There is a checklist for VPPR, and that, and also there is a uh, public relations slides as well. So this kit is very uh, useful for all of you, which you start from basic design. So I will show you one of one of the 
club invitee editables template to start with. As a new VPPR, so you can start designing from this uh, kind of uh, PowerPoints. This slide, if you go to design, you see custom slide this. This is 25 by 25 centimeter. This is now 19, this is mostly square, but when you go for it, it's 25 by 25. There are many designs are available. As a new VPPR, you can go ahead with this kind of design. You can put the club name, uh, you can put all uh, the dates. So there are beautiful uh, PowerPoint formats are available with the club invitees, which you get start with. The pictures are also important. So all the new VPPRs or old uh, VPPR start using this kind of formats, which will help you to create beautiful flyers. Then again, uh, there is a save the date format. If your club is having uh, special events, you can use this save the date or any meeting flyer, anything which is required for any club invites. So there are some of the, these, these things are very beautiful, which you can use it for uh, uh, for your club invites, etc. So I'll just quickly run through for the newsletter if people are not able to do a uh, newsletter. I'll share a newsletter from here. You can see uh, this is a sample of uh, uh, newsletter. This is 12 page uh, newsletter where, which gives you an idea about how a, a newsletter should be in a format. So you can edit the content, whatever, uh, according to your club uh, activities. There is a from behind the screen, president desk report, how the colors, how to select the colors. So this is a 12 page uh, newsletter, which can be edited later also. So this is um, all about VPPR kit, which is available in District 105 website. So all the new VPPR PRs can start designing from start using that kit. This is all about uh, from my side. Uh, if you have any questions, I think you can ask so that I can answer. Hello, sir. Uh, can I ask a question? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, actually, you uh, mentioned about the video release form. So if yes. I'm making a video flyer and I'm using the pictures of my the club members, so do I have do do I need to uh, give the form to the members and sign by them yes it is required okay okay so it is required that all the members should sign it so in case i'm using their pictures in the flyer so there won't be any problem right yeah, any flyer okay so any it is not okay so it is not up, restricted up to the uh, contestants so we have to do it for the members also yes some of the members are having a like they don't want to come to the social mm -hmm. media or something like that. Because yes. once you once you mm -hmm. share it in Facebook, you don't mm -hmm. have any control. Because even even if you delete from your post mm -hmm. as well, it may have been shared with the uh, different people. So it goes out of your control. Okay. So I have to do that. Okay. Thank you. Thanks a lot. Mr. Vinish, we have another question here. What is the URL for District 100, District 105 website? Sequence now Godson is already put in the yeah. sequence. He has already sent. Yeah. Any more questions? 
Hi, uh, hi, TM Vinish. I have one yes. basic question. When uh, you're talking about uh, the brand guidelines, we have to use certain um, already predefined uh, formats. So in that case, we can add any other elements also, right? It's like not only we have to restrict our creativity to that format. <laughs> yeah, these are the these are the PowerPoint formats which is already given uh, in the district work from the Toastmasters International. But suppose if you want to add any content which should not be restrict or it should not be affecting our brands, you can use the colors, you can use the especially pictures and videos. You need to get the consent from uh, the people who are all there in this uh, pictures. Other than that, you can use within the branding guidelines, the colors and the formats. Mr. Vinish, there is another question posted from uh, Mr. Mohammed Famib. What is gradient and accent colors? How differently do we use it? Let me, I will share this uh, brand guide. See, you can see in from my screen that these are the basic colors of Toastmasters. True maroon, loyal blue, and cool gray. When it comes to gradient, so in PowerPoint, we can use the gradient. These are the gradients which is available in any of the Toastmasters uh, branding uh, materials. So loyal blue or blissful blue. So if you go to the main color, it is loyal blue. If you apply gradient, you can also use this code to get the gradient color. Okay, when you enter into uh, in PowerPoint, if you want to get this loyal blue color, so go to the colors. If you want to use more colors, go to custom and enter this red, green, and blue values, she said like this. This is, this is, oh, this is. Okay. Let me show you this other screen. Okay. Here you see uh, the flyer, which is having a gradient color, rich maroon, deep maroon, loyal blue, blissful blue. So you need to enter these values to get a color. So let me just open the text box. So you got this gradient color here. Similarly, if you use any uh, box, double click here, you can also change the color. So shape fill, shape outline as well. So use a grade, more colors. So it's become a gradient color. So it is not clearly mentioned in the branding manual, which is available, but with this flyer, we give you a gradient as well. So this is gradient uh, features also mentioned in this uh, flyer, uh, this PowerPoint, 
so that you can use and get this uh, gradient. Uh, any other questions? Uh, yes, Mr. Vinish, Mr. Kapil wants to ask him. Yeah. Uh, uh, good morning, Toastmaster Vinish. Uh, I'm trying to download the uh, VPPR kit, then it is giving me an unexpected error. It says uh, unexpected end of archive. Let me just check. Yeah, see, you can see my screen. See when you, I, I'm, I hope you, you went to this right page, District 105 resources. That's right. I went to this page. I went to the uh, VPPR kit. Okay. For me, it is working because um, when I click. You have it, already downloaded. <laughs> no, no, it's not already downloaded. If I, can anybody else try this, uh, go to this page and try to download VPPR kit. If not, we will share this VPPR uh, um, uh, kit in a vTransfer file to all the people. Okay. Uh, yes, even I'm trying. It's not uh, showing me the errors. For you can disabled. share it in a group. Yeah, we will share it. Please. Thank you. Uh, regarding the photos, uh, uh, do we use the photos from internet which are free to download? Uh, which is, uh, again, sometimes some of the pictures are having a copyright. So I would like to uh, request everyone to follow the same which is available in Toastmasters. There are so many uh, photos that are available which can be used. Also, you can use from your club, area, division, all the photos which can be used in the virtual area. Next one is so we don't need to go to our internal site for analysis. Yes, most of the resources are available in District 105 website. And if you need more, for, especially on the photos, you can go to the District of TMI website. Yes, a disclaimer note you need to add it uh, before the video release. You should add your club name or it's your area or um, the district or division or it should be as this is uh, as your property whoever is releasing it so the name should be there I hope. Yeah. thank you sir for enlightening us with the branding guidelines thank Any you other... so much and back to you yeah i hope uh, my time is already up so back to you toastmaster i have a question i have a question please yeah. Just uh, for the newsletter, uh, where did you show this app? Newsletter, which is available in uh, VPPR kit, you will be able to download. This, inside the VPPR kit, this VPPR kit, uh, what, who all who all from the club can have access to VPPR kit? Anybody or anyone can? Okay, not necessarily the VPPR. No. Okay. Sorry, when we go to the uh, page, the PR page, we get uh, Sushita and the team. Uh, do, well, how do you get to the resources? It's not clear. Uh, I think uh, Postmaster Gordon will answer that. He will be guiding through District 105 website. Thanks. Over to you, Shaz. Thank you, Master Vinish, for enlightening us with the branding guidelines. In case anyone has any more questions, uh, the, all the questions will be answered towards the end of the session. Thank you. <clears throat> Zinedine Zidane once said, it doesn't matter how many times you win an award, it is always very special. 
To cherish that special moment, it has to undergo for smooth submission. Let's navigate the District 105 website to understand the very process. And to guide us through, we have a Toastmaster who is also an eminent part of District 105 PR team as a webmaster and a passionate digital artwork creator from the District 105 PR team. He has been a Toastmaster since 2018, a recipient of Triple Crown Award for achieving educational goals in pathways. He's a software engineer and a sports enthusiast, specifically badminton. Ladies and gentlemen, please put your hands together for Toastmaster Gordon Varghese. Toastmaster Gordon Varghese, the virtual screen is all yours. Thank you. Thank you, Toastmaster Shasia, for that wonderful and refined introduction. Good morning, Toastmasters. Good morning, Toastmasters. Very good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Thank you. Thank you very much, Toastmasters. I welcome all the aspiring leaders to this segment of Navigating District 105 website. I feel much enlightened after hearing the PR branding guidelines. As a BPPR of Alnaba Toastmasters Club, I was able to understand the good practices to follow in creating wonderful flyers. I heard there are awards, but where are these awards available? How can we submit these awards? It's a big dilemma. All Toastmasters are aware about Toastmaster International website, but there is something known as District 105 website or District 105 portal. This portal was introduced maybe a couple of years ago so that our District 105 have a standalone portal where we can submit our awards. It's not only about awards. You can find many informations in our website. Without wasting much time, I will take you to our website. Hope you can, everyone can see my screen. District105.org. If you type it in your web browser, you can redirect to our website. If you come into the website, you can see a wonderful team, a photo of our district council team. In the home page, if you navigate well below, you can see our beautiful and charming district director, Rania Abdul Rab DTM. If you browse or drag a little downside, you can see our district core team. Here are some statistics about our Toast District 105. We are having 16 divisions, 65 areas, and 268 clubs. We have more than 5,400 plus members. Out of that, more than 30 members are available here in our meeting. Coming down in our website, we are having a, a pathways description where it is interconnected with our YouTube channels. Coming below, we are having the Toastmaster magazine. All these are connected with Toastmaster International website. So when the Toastmaster International website releases a newsletter, it will be readily available in our District 105 website. So that our District 105 members can only be a single point. That is the basic concept of District 105. Instead of going to District uh, Toastmaster International website and getting a lot of information, we have refined refined as information which is only suitable and which is very much required for our members. So you can find all these informations in our District 105 website. If you want to read it, you can click and it will show you the PDF, the details. These are all about our landing side. Now let's see the other menus. Here we have Again, the classification of uh, division leaders. If you click on division leaders, we will be having our charming division leaders details available. 
if you click on any division director uh, details we will be able to see who are the area leaders under that and if you click on any of the area leaders you will be able to see the clubs which is coming under that particular area so this is all about relationships the district the divisions the areas the clubs you will get all these informations directly from our website there is also another panel page available for our uh, area directors where we have all the photos of our area directors again clicking on their name it will redirect to their particular details where you can see all the club details under that particular area so this is all about the area classification now we are having a three menus available here which is program quality club growth and public relationships our three eminent departments so under that pages we have their director details if you write down you can see their address their team members and some resources which will be helpful for uh, their educational awards all that information is readily available here if you navigate below you will be having the award details you know that all awards are classified into member awards club awards area awards and the division awards if you navigate through each and if you click on any particular award you can see the basic criteria of that particular award i just clicked on uh, one division awards so the eligibility submission deadline award presentation everything is available under this particular menu coming back to the bar again if you come below your program quality awards there will be a segment for pqd events once and then we are having the pqd events it will be readily available under this particular menu and here is some additional resources if you can see it if you click on a particular resources it will be taking you to toastmaster international website where all these contents are readily available so if you see the toastmaster Inter international website it is much lengthy one so it will be difficult for you to navigate to each segment to get the right information for that what the pqd team done is whichever is relevant and very much important they have created a direct link here so that you can come here you can look for it you can get the details so that is how this website is modern if you go to any uh, department or any divisions you can see that there will be uh, their leaders informations will be there team informations will be there helpful resources will be there and their events will be there now let's move to the club growth details under the club growth again we have the division directors details and their address to the district team then we have the details of their team members below there will be like few resources which is helping uh, how to form a club how to organize the toastmasters club all informations are available below to that we are having the award details again cdd event and the helpful resources so all informations are available in this particular uh, segment now let's go back to the public relationship here already uh, toastmaster vinish has guided us we have the details of public relations manager the pr team the awards prm events and the resources so this was the uh, details which everyone was talking the bppr kit the toastmaster brand manual the images all the informations you can directly get the details when you asked about uh, the color branding everything you will be able to find it from here so you can go to this direct link you can click it details will be there you can download and keep it similar informations are available also under the bppr kit once you click this informations it will take you the download is happening now so you can download and get this uh, informations here now there is a separate tab designed only for the awards again the awards like member awards if i am going here if i come to this awards 
click on PR member awards. If I want to know the details about this particular award, click on that particular image. Then you will be able to understand what are its deadline, what are its criteria, what are its award process, who can apply, all details. Everything is available here. Now, how to apply for this particular award? On any awards, for example, I'm just going back to some other awards, okay? I'm going to PR member awards. I'm taking Globebuster award, which is a monthly award. Coming back to here, I can see click here to apply. When I click here, it will take me to a URL where it will ask for my credentials. I will come back to this segment once I complete this portion. We are having one more. Uh, we are having the club tools, which is again, I have already explained. If you click on this particular resource tab, you will be able to see all the resources which is available under the PQD, CG and the PRM. So I'm not duplicating this content here. The next tab is the blogs. As we all know, in the PRM, we are having an award specifically for, uh, for the blogs. So once you submit for the blogs and whichever the content we feel like it is worthy, it's irrespective of winning that award or anything. We feel if this content is really good to publish in our District 105 website, we will be publicizing it in this particular one. So the awards, so we should push everyone to submit this Blockbuster Awards because their contents will be given uh, you know, uh, value and will be published in the District 105 website. So these are the few blogs available from the last year. So this year also we will be continuing the same. The next, tab is all about the events. If you want to know about uh, multiple events which is happening in the district council, yes, you will be able to find it out. And the last tab is the contact us. If you have any clarifications or any queries, if you are having it, or if you are a new member uh, coming into this place, you want to contact uh, any of our district core team, yes, all their informations, their contact numbers, everything is available here. So if you want to know about any uh, PR related events, you can go directly here. Just see uh, who is our public relationship manager, take their email ID or their WhatsApp number. You can have a communication with them so that you can get connected with the people. And if you have any queries, anything is there, obviously you can send uh, a query. Uh, this will be handled by the PR team. So this is mostly about the District 105 website. Now I will just go ahead with our award submission. For award submission, there is a process required. So first process in district in awards is a login. If you have already a login created, you can leave it aside. But if you are a new member or doesn't have any District 105 account, again, I'm telling this is nothing having any direct connection with Toastmaster International apart from this TMI number. So once you comes to this District 105 website, you have to first register. So you have to type your name and you have to type your TMI number. This is the most important thing. This TMI number is very important because for all the educational awards or anything, we will be referring only this TMI number. So it is very much important and very much uh, required to have this TMI number. Then we can give uh, our email ID. We can choose the club. I'm just going ahead, we can register it. Once I register, I will get an email notification in this particular email ID. Once I click on this particular link, my account will be getting activated. Once my account is activated, I can come to this login portion. I can come here, I can log in to my account. So this is the place where we submit the awards. Uh, I, I will share this uh, link with you. If you don't want to actually remember this link. If you are in particular awards or anywhere in our District 105 website, you can just uh, come here or you can click on any entries. So it will directly take you to the awards website. So that is the beauty of it. So once coming into the award segment, uh, all the awards, the PQD award, CGD awards, PR awards, everything will be listed. Okay, so for example, if I want to submit the Blockbuster Member Award, I can directly come to this awards website. I can click on this Blockbuster Member Award. 
I just need to enter the name, the club, the article name, and the document. If I click on submit, my award submission will be out. Similarly, for any awards, you can come here, but there are few awards. Uh, for example, if I'm taking the PQD awards, which is an educational award, I want to submit. But actually, there is no not required to submit any details for this particular awards, especially the educational awards. All the educational awards, the data will be taken by the respective teams from the Toastmaster International website. So if you have completed three levels in a particular year, your informations will be available in the Toastmaster International Awards. So that information will be directly taken from them. And it is not required for you to submit any information. So this is all about you know the particular awards the same uh, pattern applies for everything here if even if it is a cg awards pq awards pr awards everything will follow the same pattern but only thing you what you have to remember is when you are going to submit any awards you have to always know the eligibility the submission the deadline what are the criteria defined Okay, so this is one of the important thing before submitting the awards, you have to understand it so that you should not think that, okay, if it is a, you know, there are monthly awards, there will be a time cutoff is there. So once you submit after the time cutoff, your award will not be considered for that award. Okay, so to know that details, you have to come to our main website and understand all these criteria. So that is only one point you have to always keep remember. Now, uh, I will just move ahead with our uh, one of the important award, which is the Hall of Fame award. Okay, uh, because why I'm telling specifically this Hall of Fame award is uh, the submission of this awards is something different uh, comparing to any other awards. Okay, so if you want to submit a Hall of Fame awards, okay, you have to come to this particular tab. You have to select the club, click on submit. Okay, so if I hope everyone is aware about, you know, our HOF award details, okay. If you see the HOF, you know, it is classified into 18 segments, basically. So there are some educational awards, Super 7 code, 100% each pathways adoption. There are multiple, 18 numbers are there, 18 types of categories are there. Once you qualify for 18 numbers, then only you can get the HOF award. For example, if I'm taking the educational awards, so there are few educational awards defined by the, their team to get these awards, okay? So as I told well before, educational awards, everything, all the information is taken from the district one, so, uh, sorry, Toastmaster International website. So you don't want to submit anything extra for this educational awards. Uh, uh, again, like Super 7 Code, 100% each pathways adoption, all these informations will be taken from the Toastmaster International website. So when you come for the submission of Hall of Fame, you will be able to, you will be not able to see such headers here. If you see, this is my HOF uh, headers. We are having education session, Super 7 Code, 100% Pathways Adoption, Distinguished Club Status. But if you come to the submission of these awards, you will be not able to see. Why? Because all these informations will be taken directly from Toastmaster International website. Now, there will be a few tabs. If you come down, uh, you can see this one. The club success and plan submission with goals. The deadline date is Jan 31st, 2023. But there are no details available here. Why? Because this tab, like how to upload this document, will be only available on few conditions, basically depending upon their deadline. So all the informations are here clearly mentioned. Too. The requisite document can be submitted between Jan 5th, 2023 and Feb 5th, 2023. That means this tab will be only allowed during this time period. So if you want to submit any documents related to your club success and plan, you have to come here in between Jan 15th and February 15th and you need to upload the document. For a demo purpose, what I have done is uh, I have submitted uh, some details for club success club success and plan. Once I submit the documents, I can have a view upload document here, uh, button here. If I click on that, I can see the details about what are the informations I have fetched it here. 
so there will be a confusion now who will be the person going to submit it uh, for this hall of fame submission award so we highly recommend only one member from your exco either it can be vp president or vpm vpp or whoever it is uh, assign it to a single person who can submit the hall of fame awards if multiple people are trying to submit at the same point of time it may get the data may get overwrite okay so what you can do is you can have a uh, common communication between your exco members and ask them only one person try to do this submission of this awards okay hope i am clear with this hall of fame awards if i come down you can see there are you know it, it, this hall of fame awards can be then and there updated that is another feature which is available for this club succession plan your end date is i'm sorry your end date is september 30 2022 so by the by this month end okay so you can submit uh, this document and click on update details alone okay once you submit this award that indicates that you have completed all this informations okay then only you should click on this submit award otherwise don't click on this submit awards you should just go on with the update details award okay if you have wrongly done any uh, you know submissions no worries you can still able to delete it if you are finding any other difficulties also you can just come directly to any prt members we will be you know uh, trying our best to help you out okay so these are for a few informations about our awards coming back to our brain uh, website uh, there are few tips actually there are few you know our social media presence available so if you click on our facebook you will be able to see all the informations coming in our facebook so basically i would recommend all the members to go and first join this particular group district 105 uh, toastmasters so that all these informations whatever the district team is posting you will be able to see it similarly we are having a youtube we have insta and we have a podcast so go and just uh, subscribe to it so that you know all the informations will be coming to your phone or your web pages so that you feel you are easily connected with the district team or any communication which is happening with the district team and um, your club teams everything will get in a sync so that is the beauty of uh, toastmasters i think this is all about uh, website and i am on time i guess so are there any queries you know related to one which i have heard Uh, just stream to you from uh, TKM Toastmasters. Uh, yes. Thank you for the presentation. I just want to know what was the requirement of the registration uh, uh, for in this website? Is it only once I register, I will have access to all the information? Or uh, I guess your uh, query is regarding you. Do you want to register multiple times, or why do you need to register? No, no. You showed a part where you are uh, registering yourself. into the website yes. yes so this is a, a mandatory requirement to, to access the resources or what exactly it is for okay i will just uh, share my screen again see uh, registration or login is only required uh, for submission of awards if you want to get any informations alone you can just come to district 105 pages and you know go to any resources you can take any resources from there there is no login or any in, uh, you know credentials or anything nothing is required you can just directly come to here you can get this informations but yes if you want to submit any awards basically if you want to have your award submission done then you will be required a uh, login so you can come here you can register yourself for the first time once you are getting registered you can log in and you can submit the details am i clear so yeah if, uh, in that case uh, the vp uh, education is the uh, suggested member to have this registration in place is that the case uh, not uh, see there are member awards there are a lot of you know like pr awards are there so it may be not the vpe doing it it will be vpr doing it and there are few clubs where 
uh, it is not even DDTR, even the members are doing their own uh, flyer creation. Okay, so in that scenario, they can anyone can connect to it and anyone can submit it like blockbuster. See, blockbuster will be done by the members, so they can directly come here and they can, uh, you know, submit their awards. So for that purpose, we should recommend all the members, you know, who are very much good in blockbuster or who can, you know, complete or who want to show their works to the district team. Yes, definitely. We should ask them to uh, log in and submit their awards. Yeah, noted, noted. Regarding this blockbuster, any member can create a blog and publish it on the uh, district 105 website. That's, that's it. Huh? Yes, yes. Uh, any member can do it. Toastmaster Godson, I have you, thank one. You. I'm sorry. Yeah. Uh, I have one small query uh, regarding Hall of Fame. So many of uh, the people keep asking me that, uh, like, suppose in the Hall of Fame there are some uh, criteria. For example, mentoring program. So, what exactly do you have any format of the file that has to be uploaded? like is it defined like suppose uh, they have to upload a file for mentoring program so what do they exactly have to upload that how the mentoring program is going on in their club so like uh, what uh, what should they do do they have to make a excel sheet of the mentors and mentee and upload it or what exactly is to be done do you have any clear format for that uh, actually, this question should be to our PQ team. Uh, definitely, we will get into touch with them if they have any defined formats, because whatever the documents which they have shared to us, in that they have not clearly mentioned any particular formats or any information. It's, they have only mentioned you need to submit the documents, but definitely yeah. we can connect it with the PQ team. Okay. Because um, these kind of questions keep coming to uh, me and I think to many uh, others, uh, you know division yes. directors or area directors that what exactly should be the format so it would be very good if you could clarify later also no issues not right no worries no worries we can get into touch with we can connect with pr team or if any like you know demo how the format it should be we can have it in the award submission page okay so that people can just come there and connect it with there because if we share with the individual person it's not mandated that other people will get missed it okay so we will keep it in this district 105 website okay so that everyone will get to know what are the formats or what are the templates to use it it's a very good point uh, yeah, because uh, for certain things like for awards and wall, we have a, we have a picture and something which we get from uh, yes. the PR team. But for some information, uh, we don't know how to submit. So, okay. definitely, yes. definitely, we will take it up. We will uh, have a word with the PQ team and we will get the necessary details. Thank you so much. Thank you. Mr. So Gorson, there's another question here. Uh, if yeah. we go past the submission date for monthly PR awards, then can we submit email? Uh, will the past month poster be considered for award the next month, if late? No, for any PR awards, it is mandatory to get in to do it with District 105 website alone. Okay, If you pass, month poster will be considered for the next month. You can submit it for the next month. We can definitely consider it for the next month, but not for that particular, uh, you know, uh, deadline. Uh, uh, Master, uh, Master just to have a question. When uh, yes. you're registering for uh, for these uh, as a new for uh, submitting the awards, there is something called uh, requesting a TMI number. What is the TMI number here? TM, TMI number is your registration number. Uh, basically, once you register with the Toastmaster International, you will be having uh, this particular number. TMI number will be allocated to you. Uh, if you log into your uh, portal, basically your Pathways portal, you will be able to find it out. That number is very necessary. If you are not able to get that, you can contact anyone of, from your XCOM team or any other one, or maybe secretary or VP, you can connect it with them. So definitely they will have their TMI numbers available for you. You can use okay. that. That's okay. very much important. Okay, thank you. That's great. Any queries? 
Any more questions? Hearing none. Yeah. Shall I wind up? Toastmaster is available here. I just quick query. I want to connect with uh, a PR team member. How can I connect? Anyone here? Anyone can answer that? How can I connect with the PR team member? Oh, email. You, you go all the way down from the WhatsApp to, to Shita to you click on her picture, you get the team, you click on each division director to go to the area, you click on that one, you go to the PR teams, I believe. Yes, <laughs> definitely, definitely. You know, I was just checking if people were really listening to me and I can see many answers from that. So that shows that, you know, people have supported me and thank you very much people for listening to me for uh, last 20, 25 minutes. Thank you, District 105 uh, team members. Thank you. And over to you, uh, Master of Sudamani Shasya. Thank you so much, Toastmaster Godson. Ladies and gentlemen, who is a leader? A leader is someone who inspires passion and motivates, who has a vision and the path for realizing it, and who ensures the team has appropriate support and tools to achieve their goals. But sometimes, even after possessing these three qualities of a good leader, we tend to get lost in a maze. These are the times when best practices can serve as good reference points. In order to quickly brainstorm us with these best practices, today, Amongst us, there is a very beautiful and a charismatic lady. She's a Toastmaster for almost seven years and also has been the immediate past Area 48 Director for Division N. She was also awarded with the Stella Area Director Silver Award, a VPM of TGIS Toastmasters for the year 2020 to 21. And as a VPM, she has added 31 members to her club. Apart from being friendly and a committed autotelic, she loves Indian chai and chat. Ladies and gentlemen, please put your hands together for Toastmaster Divya Rajan. Toastmaster Good Divya. morning, Toastmasters. Thank you so much, Toastmaster Shazia, for that wonderful, flowery introduction. Thank you so much. Can we have a big round of applause for that beautiful lady who just introduced me? Thank you, MC. Let me just do the basic honors of sharing my slide and asking the basic question in a Zoom meeting. Am I audible? Am I visible? Just hold on. Okay. Again, a very good morning, everyone, and welcome to the last and final session on 10th September on Branding Guidelines event this morning. And I welcome every single Toastmaster and everyone who has joined in for this meeting. Now, let's understand before I start off, why are we all here? We're all Toastmasters. And even if we are not Toastmasters, why did we come here this morning? Toastmasters is an opportunity. Toastmasters is a learning ground. Toastmasters is a place where you learn, you grow, you inspire, and you succeed. Today, I thank the district PR team, Toastmasters Shuchita and team, and I thank everyone in the Toastmasters fraternity for giving me an opportunity to share my knowledge or my growth as a leader. What did I do in the past seven years of being a Toastmaster? Why am I still a Toastmaster? sharing some practical best practices before I start my journey. Let's move on. So why are we all here? The first and foremost slide, why do we do PR? Why do we market ourselves? So have you all, any of you in this room prepared your resume or your CV in your life? If yes, just take a paper and pencil in front of you or a pen even, 
which is I'm sure accessible wherever you are seated or even your phone to make your notes. As a member before joining a Toastmaster meeting, why did you join Toastmaster? Is it to become a better leader? Is it to become a better communicator? Is it to become a better presenter? Is it to share your knowledge? Is it to just make friends? Is it to have fun? Is it to get a job interview? Is it to just make a connection? Or is it to communicate? Think for yourselves, why did you join Toastmasters and name three of them. This is your exercise. The second question that you need to ask yourself is why do you stay in Toastmasters? You stay in Toastmasters because it adds value to you. It gives you some valuable service to meet your individual needs and goals as an individual and as a Toastmasters member itself. Now, why do we stick on to A club or B club or C club? It's because the club gives us a quality club feeling, a supportive feeling, a family feeling. And that is the single important factor for member retention. And as you all know, all clubs are member-centric. Members are the core and soul of the Toastmasters fraternity. Now, moving on, we are talking about PR and branding, and I thank Vinish and Toastmaster Godson for giving us so much of in valuable information to actually understand how do we present ourselves. So if you ask, what is PR, or what is a sales pitch, or what is marketing, I define it by four words. PR is about public relations. It, it's about public relations. It's about four hours. It's about giving the right messages at the right time, at the, communicating the right messages, to the right people at the right place and at the right time. So there are four R, right messages, right people, right place and right time. Simple, very easy. How do you do this? You just need three C's. And the best mantra for this is communicate, communicate, communicate. You are a member, learn to communicate. However you are, you may be a new Toastmaster, you may be an existing Toastmaster, you may be a guest even, but you need to communicate because you're an individual as a human being itself. Three mantras which I would say Toastmasters could recommend would be as a PR person or as any member in the XCOM would be create, coordinate and communicate. So that is the three C's to become the face of Toastmasters and to improve your brand image. Did you know, okay, asking you some questions, research shows in Toastmasters, it's a fact which has been proven. When you start a club, you have a club member base. So let's say you're a part of the club. You may be a strong club or you may be a struggling club, two types of clubs. So as per the research of Toastmasters International, around 40% of your members will leave this year, which means let's say you have a member strength, club member base of 50 members, around 20 of them are going to leave by the end of your term. Okay, so that is the, is the reality of Toastmasters. Let's say you have 10 members, a struggling club, Imagine four are going to leave by the end of the term. You have just six members. And how many charter members do you need to continue your club? You need a minimum of seven members. So that's pretty much giving you a reality or the fact, basic facts about Toastmasters. Now in Toastmasters or in the sales or in the marketing techniques that we learn, we have something called as the hierarchy of effects model, which has four, uh, question, uh, four parts of it, which is the IDA model. Now, the IDA model, where A represents attention, I represents interest, D represents desire, and A represents action. Now, if I have to explain to you what it is, ask yourself these questions. A for attention means, what is it? When you buy a product, what is it all about? Let's say you buy an Apple phone. You need to, what are you going to buy? So it's a phone. What is the interest that you have? Do you want something which gives you good selfies? So I might take a Samsung phone. So that's your interest. Which phone do you want to buy? And that's what the salesman is trying to sell you when he's selling you a, a LG phone, an Apple phone, or an MI phone, or any other phone that he wants. Now, you have a desire to buy, which is you, you're trying to tell the salesperson, I want it, but I want many more options. Now, if the salesperson convinces you, you're going to say, I'm going to get this phone, whatever happens. Now, today, if my phone breaks, the way we live on uh, all our gadgets, we really need the phone, whichever company it is, but we need the phone, but we need a reliable one. So the IDA model really ex, uh, explains the, uh, the hierarchy of effects, which is, again, attention, interest, desire, and action before you get a product. Similarly, this is the same thing that you sell in Toastmasters. The IDA model is a marketing tool or a marketing model which has been recommended in, in the advertising and the brand uh, 
uh, brand guidelines, not in Toastmasters, but in generally the marketing world, which you can use, and you can use it in Toastmasters as well. Moving on, in my fourth slide, I just have 14 slides, don't worry, and I'm going to go very, very quick. The secret of Toastmasters being a leader or just being a normal member when I joined Toastmasters, or why out of 268 clubs which Toastmaster Godson showed us, why should I come to this particular club and join? Now, the, the mindset which my club follows, and I proudly say this, is the one club mindset. TGIS Toastmasters, which is the home club that I belong to, is a club which has a one club mindset, not just of these seven members that you see in these ants. Why are the seven members nominated? The seven nominated members of your XCOM committee are your president, your VP education, your VP membership, your VP PR, your treasurer, and your secretary. These are your seven nominated officers. And as per numerology, seven is a God sent number, which means everything is done perfectly. So any of you, if you're in the XCOM committee, remember everything has to be done perfectly. And even if it's not perfect, you can make it perfect. How do you make it perfect? There is just one formula. Like the ants who come together and make their colony better, you need to have teamwork, you need to have the right attitude for your club to grow. So whether you're a struggling club, a corporate club, or any kind of club, your seven members, along with the entire camaraderie of the club, is going to have one club mindset approach. And that is really the secret of any club to grow. Now, when we look at a club growing, we need to have a basic USP or a unique selling proposition. Ask yourself a small exercise, perform it right now, or you can take it later, but note these questions. How do you promote your club in a unique and an inter interesting way? How do you create awareness? You could spread it through word of mouth. You could talk about it when you go to visit a doctor to somebody who's sitting next to you. You can go to a grocery shop and when you're probably making a conversation with the shopkeeper, just talk about something as to what he likes and then does he have children? Does he have children going to school above 18? Talk about it. How do you promote your, let's say that evening you're going to your Toastmasters club meeting, ask them, would you like to come along with me? When you're in a social circle or a special interest group, let's say you're going for a yoga session or a dance session or any session that you go to, or even if you're going to your office, talk to people, you're even in a metro, you can talk to someone about Toastmasters. How do you promote your club? How do you promote it in an innovative way? Have themed meetings. According to you, ask yourself, what are the three things that turn a guest to a member? So when I enter a Toastmasters meeting, I have an impression. You need to turn that guest into a member. Three things or why the person will turn into a member. Some special importance given to that person. Did a person make you feel warm and welcomed when you walked into that room? Did you get a samosa? Did you get tea? Did you get coffee? Or did you get a nice sandwich? You will definitely remember that. Or did you just get an award that day after probably doing an impromptu speech? That is something you'll remember. And what are the three things that one will do to stay in Toastmasters and leave Toastmasters? We will pop this question and there are answers which you will automatically answer soon. Moving on, what is it that you will deliver as a club officer? In our club, we have various things that we can perform. This is just a general idea of what you can give in your guest kit pack. And I call it the sweet get guest kit, guest kit pack or a wonderful pack. It's a sample of what all you can give. So whether you're a corporate club, an advanced club, a community club, or whatever club that you are a part of, you have to have different, different uh, welcome kits. So let's say you're an advanced club, you give a little advanced materials of Toastmasters. If you're a basic club, a community club, you give the features, benefits, and value. These are all PDF formats which are available in the Toastmasters website. In our club, we sell the guest, uh, we, we give the guest info card, which is signed by our president and our VP membership. We give a flyer about the various questions about pathways and what you can do. We give a format of the Toastmasters magazine. And along with that, we give the membership form. Along with this, there is one page which has to give you the detail of the VPM, the various club officers, and informing this guest about the fees and payment structure is very critical. So these are typically some of the things that you can incorporate according to your club, what you want to give in your guest kit back. And it can be in the virtual format or it can be in the face-to-face -face format. And if you have senior members in your club, or let's say ask for help in the Toastmasters committee, a lot of people want to lose our clutter at home we can give you our magazines. So ask for help. You will easily get magazines or just download it 
print it out and give it to them. Working with a few club officers. Now, as a PR or as any club officer, you need to work closely with your various club officers. The first person I would say, who's your third ranking officer is the work. This is the role which I have personally played. So I have a soft corner to this, VP membership role. You have to have a guest list, which has, uh, which will go, which is going to track the name of the person who came, the phone number and the email. You need to track and follow up with that person. Okay, you've got the guest details. Did you follow up with them? How fast did you follow? So let's say today you had a meeting. Within two days, you have to connect with them and get their details and ask, are they going to join the club? That's your immediate action as a club officer. And let's say today, as a VP membership, I couldn't attend the meeting. I can ask the president, the secretary, the treasurer, or the SAA to actually play my part and get these details. It's just a matter of clicking an image of the person, asking the person to write their name, phone number, and you need to just follow up. That is the only thing you need to do. So the last part, the ask is essential. When you say old members coming into the, are losing interest, these are the members who can add value to these new members who come in and talk more about Toastmasters, how it added value to their lives, why are they still in it. The asking of these Toastmasters, that welcome first bonding feeling, the connection that you make is very critical. Now, Toastmasters also gives you a lot of, uh, a lot of resources or programs that you could use, something which is called the Open House Survey. It has the Moments of Truth Survey. And it's also uh, got something called as a member interest survey. So in this slide, if you go into Google and to, uh, type a Toastmasters Club, you'll get various Toastmasters. So when I typed in Toastmasters Club and I typed in my club, which is TJIS Toastmasters Club, you will see it available on various platforms, which is on Meetup, Facebook, Insta. And the one thing which I want you to notice here is the Google Maps. So one practical tip that I will tell all of you is let's say you're having face-to-face -face meeting, make sure your club is available on Google Maps. This is one tip our VPPR had told me and it has worked brilliantly over the years. So if somebody, any part of the world has to attend your Toastmasters meeting, your Google location will tell you exactly where you need to go. So put your club in the world map. There's something called as a member interest survey, which will actually address the goals and the individual needs of these members. So that's something you need to track so that you know whether it's a new member, an old member or a reinstated member, what is their interest? You need to reach out to meet people. You need to follow up with them. Now, an easy way I would suggest also as a BPM is to have a guest group and broadcast lists. So in a guest group, let's say you have 10 members who attend a meeting and you are expecting, let's say, two to join that particular meeting. You need to have a guest group with all your guests. Let all the 10 be there. Once they turn into a member, you can add them to your WhatsApp, uh, which is your main group. However, you need to have a separate guest group. And every single time you have a meeting, let's say that guest has not turned into a member, he or she is still deciding, you make a broadcast list group and start sending your regular flyers to that particular broadcast list group. It goes as an individual message than the common guest group message. And that really helps. An individual face-to-face -face interaction or an individual message is something I will pick up my phone and actually see why is this person sending me this message? Why is this person following up with me? So if the person for, uh, persuades you at least three times, you will definitely look at it once. So when you start following up and asking that person, are you still interested? What is it that you joined? Why did you come to our club? You will actually learn a lot. In fact, your networking skills with people is something which will really improve in Toastmasters. Working with another person who is your VP education. These are all critical uh, club officers in your XCOM, in your executive committee group. So in Toastmasters, one of the best practices which we had is having the pathways tracking sheet where we track our members, what are the roles they take. So let's say I am a Toastmaster X <clears throat> and Toastmaster X is a DTM. Uh, he has already finished, he or she has finished 20 uh, speeches during the year. TMY is the president. He has finished one path and he has one more path left. On meeting number 406, he did an evaluator role. On meeting number 408, he's going to do the GE role. So you have a full tracker of a month of what role each person is going to perform. So in 2018, I have to share one of the best practices which was done by that XCOM team by our club of actually publishing the dates and the roles of who is going to take the various responses. I understand during these challenging times, we cannot have a full calendar, but at least for the next three months, if you can make a basic calendar, if your club has a minimum of 20 members, that would be wonderful. However, 
the main point in all this is even if you can't make a calendar like this have your meetings if you have even three members you can just do table topics if you have five members attending your meeting do your table talk but conducting the meetings is important one of the toastmaster promises that you promised is conducting meeting regularly and that's why attending and conducting the meetings is very important never close your meeting the minute you close your meeting the nobody wants to attend we can give dozen reasons to say why we don't want to attend a toastmasters meeting but there can be only one good reason why you want to attend it is your passion and it is the club's impact to the member impact that you feel recognize your members and your achievements now many of the old members tell me practical tip many of the old members who have seen the traditional program tell me oh i don't enjoy pathways it's very difficult for me i don't want to do the new dtm program i find this very difficult it's too much of internet it's too much to do too many levels no so if i had to i have also been in the traditional method and i had to move away from the traditional method to the new method how do i motivate myself to do the pathways learning experience you need to communicate your ideas it's a connection and a relationship to the ideas that you have the pathways learning experience is about making a connection and a relationship to your ideas so you need to tell yourself first that you believe in pathways only then will you appreciate pathways and there's a there are there's hordes of information on pathways there are more than 11 paths that you can choose from there is so much you can do there is there is a podcast you can create there is a, there is an event you can conduct there are speeches you can do there are interviews there are panel discussions there's an amazing uh, plethora of opportunities available in front of you when you accept the pathways program and in any toastmasters program you must be knowing you have to finish two paths to reach the biggest goal what is your goal you need to understand appreciate the program and as as club officers your main goal is to recognize these members and spotlight each one of them moving on working with your vppr so i have to give a little bit of statistics here because at the, since this is more of a branding session we have three things that i'm highlighting in this slide one is the social media statistics sample and one is our club uh, has published uh, thanks to patricia gaikwad of our club she had published the best club practices handbook in the year 2018 which is a list of a lot of information which during that term and some of the history of our club it's a document which uh, actually lists down a lot of things it talks about the team it has people talking about toastmasters it talks about the various club achievements the awards very practical uh, book so i've given you the link on this uh, slide you can actually go there and see what this book is it contains a lot of beautiful information do have a look when you get the time the statistics that i'm showing you here is about as on date which is september 2022 10th today we have 57 members yes we are a strong club not that people don't leave people definitely leave so how are uh, in 2018 we were all, we had our club strength of 52 today we are at 57 on facebook page we had 75 members today we have crossed 1000 members that's again showing you growth why i'm showing you the statistics is how do you show growth we are available on meetup platform and that's one of the best platforms i think where uh, toastmasters international uh, where tjs toastmasters has got a lot of members now toastmasters international actually recommends in pr these particular links which are resources which are given to you uh, which you can use to actually promote your clubs and get different different ideas and how you can improve your brand or your pr image of your club or have themed meetings a lot of best practices are shared on these links moving on i will be pretty much more quick i have very few more slides let's talk about what we do differently or what clubs do differently showcase your members new members spotlight them create videos ask them to tell you why tgis or why your club look at how vso has wished somebody on their birthday look at how they welcomed a, a reinstating member look at how an old member tgis member has actually talked about uh, the club itself how a person has been congratulated for finishing a level so these are some beautiful things which you can use as a practical tip recognizing your members a new member or people who have passed through contests people who took the best role player role in your meeting people who took even the best listeners role not just toastmasters if let's say a toastmaster has done something above and beyond the toastmasters fraternity showcase them so in this slide you will actually see that a toastmaster firoz went above and beyond and uh, supported the covid member or uh, covid affected people so we've actually showcased that on our website 
create a different invitation, a boarding pass for an open house. Why not? Try out something new that's being creative and recognize your members. Practical tips. Make it simple, be consistent, have regular meetings. Make everything visible, your date, your time, your venue. Have WhatsApp links. Have a barcode, a quick way to get messages. Have guest groups. Have key details about your club, your area, your division. Promote your club events, promote your social events. Publish newsletters, release your new newsletters every year. Have an agenda on your social media channels and have all your club officer details because when anyone joins your club, even if I'm an existing member, I might forget who is the treasurer of your club, whom should I make the payment? So all this is very important. Use social media channels, LinkedIn, Facebook, Insta, Twitter, you know all the social media channels, recognize your members. Have members, existing members to give videos, give messages about your club on that uh, on your web pages and send the VP membership can actually send some of these testimonials to the prospects of your group and post everywhere. Invest some time in social media. It will really help in club growth. So these are really simple tips and it's possible. If I can do it, you can definitely do it. To end with coming to my last pitch. It's an individual outlook to Toastmasters. If you see, there are four words here. Success, 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 success. What is the color that attracts you the most? Can we have a show of hands or maybe just unmute and say which color you like the most? Hello. Maroon. Yellow. Happy yellow. Exactly. All of you, most of you have answered the color yellow. Thank you for that. And thank you for your interaction. Before I end, there are a few things. What all did I talk about? I will quickly wrap up soon. We've all observed, all of us want to succeed, whether we are individuals, whether we are Toastmasters, whether we are leaders, whether we are family members. What is it that we need to achieve success? We need to communicate, communicate, communicate. But to communicate, we need to create and we need to build a connection. Try to use the IDA model, which I have talked about. Google IDA, you will get what is IDA. Sell your club in a way with a one club mindset. It's about teamwork. Recognize your member achievements, publish and invest in social media channels because that's the only way you sell your image and your club's image. So to end, let me just say a few things. There are seven club officers who've been nominated. You work as one team. The club members are one mindset. If everybody becomes one family and thinks with one mindset, you're definitely going to grow. There is enough opportunities available in Toastmasters. When you know better, you do better. When you don't know, ask someone. Tell the member what is in it for them. Build your connections. So great communication begins with greater connection is what Oprah Winfrey says. And with that, I open the forum for questions. Thank you. Any questions? I have a question, which uh, amazing, amazing Toastmaster Devi, I just loved your uh, presentation. About social media, uh, I have been in touch with uh, Toastmaster Shazia. So now social media, you know, I'm very, I'm very active on Instagram. So I wanted to collaborate with the District 105 account and post a reel because reel is the in thing. So how does that work? Do you have any insights on that? And what is the protocol? Or are you the right person to ask this? Or should, we, should I wait for another session? Yeah. The PR team is the right group, but you can use any media channel as far as I know, which we just showed. But I would let, if you want, Suchita handle which other channels that you can use. Yeah, thank you, Divya. Uh, Toastmaster Vibha, I will get in touch with you. Uh, I have that query with me regarding your collaboration about the reel about your demo meeting, if I'm not wrong. So I'll okay. definitely get in touch with you regarding that. All right. Okay, done. Thank you. Over to you, Toastmaster Divya. Thank you. Mr. Pradeep, yes, Mr. Pradeep I see your hand. Yeah. yeah. yeah uh, uh, thank you for a wonderful presentation. Um, you have been talking about a lot of, you know, uh, publish, publishing things on social media and uh, releasing newsletters and other things. Uh, I'm, one, I'm wondering whether 
uh, we have to comply with any legal uh, things in UAE or not, because we are normally you know, not going to Facebook and other things. And moreover, we are also working in companies. So company has got different rules. So will that not uh, you know, complicate matters or not? Okay, so simple thing. I've been a member of a, I, I was a dual member when I joined Toastmaster. I was a member of a corporate club before I joined my community club. So simple question for that. Before you have a Toastmasters club in your group or you want to publicize something, get permission from your HR. What are you trying to publicize? If you get your permission from your HR to just post a flyer, let's say on a notice board, you get the, uh, to the, uh, the, the permission, you are allowed to post anything. You just have to follow the brand guidelines. That is the rule that I know for corporate clubs. Uh, and you can use anywhere uh, if, let's say, whoever approves uh, in your building, even in your notice board of your building also, if your building approves, you can post it there. You can post things anywhere if they approve. A senior authority approves anything. And just follow the brand guidelines. That's the only rule. Yeah. So what about um, releasing newsletters, no? Releasing newsletters there are some... is one of the best practices. Uh, yeah, I understand, but uh, the, the, there must be some rules in UAE for releasing any newsletters, like publishing. Mm, not sure. I mean, I know you too. There's one taboo topic. However, I'm not sure about whether, I mean, I think you can give the, if as far as I am aware, but I can get back to you on this. As far as I am aware, you can publish your newsletter and give a hard copy or a soft copy to any person who comes in. No, there is no harm because, about it unless you know, your office has a problem or your industry uh -huh. has a problem. Because uh, I understand that um, even for conducting surveys, there are some uh, legal uh, or government rules on this in UAE. I'll have to check this, this part. I'll have yeah, to check. Yeah, okay. Okay. Thanks. Thank you. Thank you, Pradeep. Pradeep, uh, Pradeep. Okay, Pradeep asked this question. Thank you, Pradeep. Hi, Pradeep, uh, I see TMDU. Yes. yes hi, hi, TMDU. It's a wonderful uh, session. We really enjoyed it. My question is, um, as a club, uh, VPPR, are we allowed uh, to publish the club uh, posters and club event pictures on district uh, social media platforms? Uh, we have done it ourselves. So as long as the district 105 admin approves it, you can go ahead and post it. I don't think there is any restriction on that. If the admin of the district 105 group approves it, you can go ahead and uh, post it there. Correct me if I'm wrong, any of the, anybody in the PR team as well, but I am aware that if it complies with all the uh, rules and the guidelines, you are allowed to post your things on the District 105 website. Okay, thank you. Uh, Mr. Riyadh has his... Uh... Yes, Riyadh, go ahead. Mr. Riyadh, uh, I'm unable to... Okay, it's red as well. Okay. Okay. I will close my session since I see the red and I will pass on my stage back to Toastmaster Shazia and then we will have a general Q&A session now. Thank you so much for the opportunity Toastmaster Shuchita and everyone who's attended this meeting. Thank you again. Thank you Toastmaster Shuchita Rajan. It was a wonderful presentation. And thank you for sharing all the wonderful tips with us. Well, having had a quick recap of the brand guidelines with tips and tricks on its practical application, working knowledge on navigating the website and few qualities reference points from tried and tested practices. I hope you have enough fuel to fire up and fly high. I wish you all very best for the coming year. I will now hand over to Toastmaster Ramiz for the word of thanks. Toastmaster Ramiz, screen is all yours. Thank you. Good afternoon, Toastmasters. Wow, what an informational, felt, and useful educational event. Our sincere thanks for today. A sincere thanks goes to our speakers, Toastmaster Vinish, Toastmaster Godson, and 
Toastmaster Divya for sharing your honest learnings with us. I'm sure our members will appreciate all that shared experience. Kindly accept our appreciation. It is my privilege to extend our sincere gratitude to our district leaders, DTM Rania, DTM Jamil, DTM Deepa, DTM Saiju, DTM Shamima, DTM Ramanujan, and Toastmaster Sudha. Thank you for your eternal support. A special thanks to our MC for today, Toastmaster Shazia, for enlivening the event. Thanks to our Doyen designer, Toastmaster Maria and Toastmaster Ramiz for burning the midnight oil to create the flyer and the lovely certificates. Thank you to our Toastmaster, to our team, to our PR team led by the enthusiastic PRM Toastmaster Suchita for organizing this wonderful event and for your continued and valuable support. And last but not the least, a big heartfelt thanks to all the members who have attended today's session. You are our motivation to continue giving such and wonderful events. Thanks and wish you all a happy weekend. Thank you, Toastmaster Ramiz. And thank you all for a great session. So I just want to add on a bit to Toastmaster Divya's, uh, and a question was asked to Toastmaster Divya regarding the posts on FB, right? The Facebook. So we have a PR policy in place. So the clubs, if they have any sessions which are in the multiples of 50, right? Their uh, club anniversary or the club meeting, which is 50th meeting, uh, 100th meeting, these are the ones which can be posted on a district website, correct? If you have any visits from uh, district level and up leaders, then those events can be posted on the district website, right? Uh, district Facebook, and then consequently in on the Instagram as well. But in case other than that, if it is there, uh, because of the certain PR policies, those events we might not be able to publish on the Facebook. Right. So in case you have any other queries with the policies, you can get in touch with me and I will uh, just share with you exactly what all things can be shared and what all things can be done. It's not that you cannot do that. You can do it on your division website or uh, division handles as well so that it's not about not publishing. But since it will just create a lot of traffic on the district website, that is why certain policies are in place. But regarding more of that, you can get in touch. We will have a chat one-on-one, -on -one, right? Thank you. Any other questions which we might have missed earlier on and you think of later, You all our three presenters are here. You can shoot the questions still. Thank you. Uh, Mr. Vinish, there was one question asked which uh, we couldn't answer earlier. It was, uh, can we use the gradients for two different colors? Yes, yes, you can use the two gradients. I will show you uh, my slide so that you can see for it. Uh, this is the this is one of the PPT which I used for uh, gradient. You can see here in the, in the Al Siraj Toastmaster Club ACS and basis where I used some of the gradients. So. When you come to the PowerPoint, fill the colors. If you go for the gradient, gradient fill, choose the colors which you want. You can use this color maroon. Okay, here, if you want to use a little bit of blue, that another person has. Your presentation is not visible, Vinish. Can you please put it in the play mode? It's not visible. No, your PPT is on, but where are you pointing? I'm not able to see this. If, can you see? Wait a minute. It is visible for me. It's visible yeah, it's for visible me as well. Yeah. Just, just present it again, Vinish. I, I'm missing it. Wait. Can you see now? You can see the entire screen? Yes, yes. Yeah. See where you see, I yes, we can see. highlighted on uh, the Kimji Toastmaster where I use some of the gradients. Okay. So 
in the PowerPoint, you need to go to the gradient, especially when you double click on the images or the pages. Just click on gradient field where you can use this gradient. You can choose the different color. So mostly we use two gradients, which is maroon and blue. So here also you can use some other colors. Many shadow key B. Okay, this is the gradient which you can so you can choose uh, the gradient uh, according to the design what you give it on the top. So you can either slow it down, keep it down, position it so that this gradient will change. So two colors when you use it for the gradient, this is called gradient. So you can also improve from here so that as you can see when I change the gradient stops, there is a change in the PowerPoint. So this is what this is the way we use the gradients. I hope it's clear now. Yes. That okay, I have answered. Thank you, Toastmaster Vinish. Any more questions? And special, I think there is one question asked for the pictures. Especially paid pictures from the website can be used, but as per the grant brand guidelines, you should use only as I'll share this again to you so that it's visible for you. The photography, images and photography should be, you can use any images, but it should be a supportive and empowered and it's a motivating picture. And don't use any pictures which is used for landscapes, animals, of children, food, or medicine, or any kind of architecture. So, again, don't use the cartoons, illustrations, anything which is not according to the brands. So, you can use any pictures, but avoid these pictures which is mentioned in the our uh, brand guide. Similarly, for the videos as well use and if you want to get a if you want to present a video in the especially in the district websites or in the social any social media channels or any of your social media channels get a video release form from a consent from each person in that video it can be from your club or your community that's it so follow the guidelines and make your videos vivacious videos or any nice posters Okay. Uh, Vinish, uh, TM Vinish, I have one question uh, regarding the photos. Since uh, all the club uh, are going as a theme-based uh, sessions, so if uh, what 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 happens if uh, TMI is not having that theme-based photos? So uh, we are restricted uh, to use only those, or uh, we can use like sli slightly. Uh, the other port uh, which is not having uh, copyright options see uh, that's what i mentioned we should be within the brand guideline that's why we follow the brand set of masters the guidelines are mentioned but uh, mostly people should follow you can be any content in uh, in the content based it's not only a, about those masters any brand which you take it which gives you a feel uh, about that brand, the quality, the content. So you can work inside in that branding guidelines. Okay, thank you. Mr. Riyadh uh, needs uh, to speak to you, Mr. Vinish. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I just have a doubt. Uh, now we discuss a PowerPoint platform. And nowadays, commonly used platform is Canva, and we don't have absolute control of all these colors and images there. Whatever is readily available, we take away, take it and use it straight away with some different levels of transparency being applied to different layers of pictures that we are using for the background. So for Canva, how is the same, uh, what you discussed in PowerPoint, be applicable? Yes, Canva also, you need to follow the certain guidelines. So if it's a paired version, you get all the access, but if it is a non-paired version, you will have a restriction. You can use, you can create your own brand kit in the Canva, but Canva is another uh, training is required. So, of course, you can use the Canva. I use, I use sometimes the Canva as well, but 
there is a restrictions when but when you start using this um, uh, powerpoint so you will not you will never go to canva again so there, there are there are ready-made kits are available inside the vppr kit so you can start working on it so based on so my experience powerpoint has absolute more features than canva because canva i feel it is very easy and uh, all the formats and backgrounds and everything is readily available change is very instant you can do anything very fast so thank you yes i use canva but i'll also share you that uh, canva to you so that you understand see i use canva for some of the presentations or some of the activities see here i can use canva but the, the restriction for the canva is if you start editing any of the pictures so there is a some of the elements which we can use it you can see in my screen is it yeah i can yes okay. so just for uh, even if you use canva also just follow the brand guidelines this see this color the yellow is not true color what we are having it in um, postmasters hence what what about the other two primary colors how do you get it in canva yeah see if you if you if you go to canva see editing okay see if you want to edit this color here you have a color you just type the toastmasters colors here this is the hexagonal code just type the hexagonal code so the hexagonal code for basic color is here So when you type uh, this color, so you get it. So, so the same numbers in PowerPoint are applicable in yeah, the same part, same canvas. which is there in the Canva. Yeah, so you get. It. But not you don't get all okay. the colors which is in the gradient or something. But you get see here you can have edition. I mean, I'm not using any paid version. It's a um, uh, free version, so I can have only three colors, basic, and I can have uh, some of the text also in the Montessori. It's the same important. This is the only limitation with the camera. But in the PPT, you can have uh, Gotham, Montessori, Myriad Pro, all these are available. Okay, 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 that's it. I don't want to start this. Thank you, thank you. Any more questions? I also had a question about club succession plan. Who is the right person to answer that? I was uh, I heard that the deadline is thirtieth of September. Is that correct? Yes, Toastmaster Riyad, you can get in touch with me. Yeah, I will. I will. Is the deadline correct or it's uh, not? Uh, certain HOF awards have the deadline for thirtieth September, and uh, I will answer your question. So, because I need to understand okay. exactly what is it that you want to know. All right. Yeah. He wanted to know about Thank club you. success plan. I think better to check with the PQD. Team. Check with the, yeah, the uh, current teams. And uh, that is why I said, understand the nature of his question so that we can uh, get it confirmed from the respective teams, concerned teams like CGD, PQD, and give you a comprehensive answer. Okay. Okay. That's fine. Thank you, Toastmaster. Okay, I think the questions are running. And yes, if we can have a picture, please. I think many of them, many of them have left, but let's have a quick picture. Everybody, please, with your cameras on. Toastmaster Vinish or Toastmaster Godson, somebody can take a picture, please. There are still few without uh, the cams on. Kamini, Cheryl, Elizabeth, Piroz, Rishi, Kwasi. Kindly switch on your cameras. We would love to see you.
All right, I think we can go ahead with the pictures. Others, their jaws are it's aching. Yeah. Uh, Toastmaster Ramiz, can you just record, stop recording?